Right, hi. First, I hope this light's okay. I've been battling light all day. It's glorious sunshine, and don't get me wrong, I love the sunshine I hate to shut it out. But, like, it's just shining at the wrong angle and things, and it's blinding me, and it's altering the light on here, which is no good. So I've been playing about with it. I've got my big um, photographer's light on. So I hope the light's okay. Right, now, I just wanted to say I love this little book. There's hardly anything in it. That page that page and that page but I just love it and I just every so often pick it up and just look and sigh and drool and fondle and things so I thought I'd put something a little bit like this together because I need I'm consumed with classwork mostly that I can't share with you as it's happening and I need something else for me anyway um, that little white piece with mirrors that I had on my blog yesterday, I'm still working on that, it's not finished yet, I can show you that when it's finished. But I need something else, I need to keep the momentum going. So I want to make something a bit like this. So what I've done is I've gathered a few bits, hankies, um, old hankies, and a bit of contrasting stuff. Now what I was thinking, my initial thought was to use this plain hanky as a base. But I don't think I need to do that actually because I think I can get away with this. This has got a lot of marks on it, like rust marks or something. Um, but I'll cover them and I don't necessarily worry about those because to me, they're just evidence of its previous life. Now what I thought I did there, I thought I turned it so it was face down and I didn't. I ironed the right side, naughty Karen. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and see if I can use this in some way to kind of section something off. I might refer back to this. I hope this video is not going to end up being massively long. Because um, I've got to think about bottom seams. Let me think. Well, I'll just cut this. I'll just be brave and go for it. I can pin that under and do it that way. It'll just end up living in a little book, I'm sure. But you know, there's nothing wrong with having a lot of little books with delightful things in to look at at all. So I'm slowly, slowly getting back to normal after my holiday. My sleep pattern still completely out of kilter. That isn't even straight, see. Don't follow my blog, I can't even lie in a straight line. Um, my sleep pattern is completely shot to pieces. I don't know what's going on there, because I've been back over a week now. I think it would be right in itself, but hey, who am I to question? So that could go there. And then, because I've got to bear in mind as well that I need to be able to handle this to stitch on it. So it needs to be big enough to stitch on. I like that. Now I'm not saying that this is going to stay here forever. This may well find itself getting cut off at some point. And then this is a bit of a gaudy yellow. Perhaps a bit too gaudy for me. I don't know how it would live here. But we'll soon find out. I kind of, oh mind you, I was going to say I've kind of already made that decision, but not necessarily. Although, see that's a nice little bit. I wonder if I could cut that in such a way. That it would live under there. Let's look a little bit. Now this is allegedly, you know, do you know what, I could make like a tab out of that, couldn't I? This is allegedly a vintage hanky, but I don't believe it because this little thing on top here feels really synthetic. So correct me, if you know different, let me know. I always stand ready to be corrected.
Maybe a bit long now. I might have to trim the top. I think I definitely will have to trim the top. I've got a man coming in there for half an hour. You'd think I'd be tidying up, wouldn't you? Not playing with uh, fabric. No, unfortunately, it's not David Beckham. It's going to be very boring and tedious. Right, let's put this here, see what we think. I don't know if it makes enough of an impact. See, you might be thinking, why have you got that grey check thing going on there, Karen? Well, that's because I like the contrast. No, it's not really doing it for me. Um, how's about just... I like that. See, I think it's probably because that is more appealing to me, that fabric. But then I still haven't <coughs> got... Oh, well, that one's very linear, isn't it? I just don't really have... Well, they're all quite linear, aren't they? Right, right so if I... Press this. You know, it'll be all ready to stitch on. And that's something I could do with you intermittently. Right, let's get this back. Let's hope my mum doesn't arrive in way. So I wanted that to go there. And that to fall under there. Okay. Put this back on. Oh, that's much better. I like that a lot. I think it's only purely because it's a personal choice thing. That that strip of colour appeals to me more than the lemon did. But would the lemon live as well? I, I mean, you might be thinking, put it that way. I was tempted, but I, like I said, I think that's going to be stopping here, so... That's better. That's what's going to work there. So that's that. Simple as that. Simple as that, she says. Um, but I'm sure you know what I mean. So if I pin that together, then I can stitch on this with you later this week, hopefully, if I get a chance to make another video you could share in the evolution of this piece I will tack it though off camera and burst it and I'm going to tack those down because I don't want those edges coming out of there uh, what do you think? you're probably thinking I can't tell you what I think, you'd be offended but no I wouldn't honestly I'm quite aware of the fact that not everybody likes the same things and that's okay because that's what makes the world go around so if I do finish it there oh yeah if you look at it in that context without all the other white it works for me but like I said the reason I'm going to keep it like that is so I've got space to get it in a hoop to work on it there so, a little quick piece put together.